welcome back to my channel. I have a cool video today. I'm excited about it because I love talking about food. We're in the kitchen today and I'm gonna show you what's in my fridge. I just decided to do this video yesterday. Everything that's in my fridge is just what's in my fridge. I haven't prepared for this video at all in terms of making sure there are or aren't certain things in there. So I'm gonna show you what's in there. It's a really accurate representation of what I keep around and what I eat. And you guys said you wanted to see more food type of videos, so we're doing it. Here we go. One thing I always have around is already prepared food. Anytime I cook something, I just cook a bunch of it. And the main reason for that is just because I don't want to have to cook it over and over again. I kind of decide on, okay, this week I'm going to have hella rice. And so I just prep a bunch of rice and eat it throughout the week. Say I cook a bunch of chicken that week and I say like, okay, this is my meat for the week or whatever. And it, it's not necessarily always a week. I don't plan it out to a tea that much. But the point is I always have food prepped. So let me show you. This Tupperware has sweet potatoes in it. I'll put them in salads or I'll just eat them plain. Sometimes I'll eat them cold. Sometimes I warm it up. But the point is I don't have to bake sweet potatoes every time I want them because I baked a whole bunch of them and here they are. What's in here is some rice. So you can see I've been doing some work on this. I just cooked some rice, I think it was three days ago and like I said, go big or go home. I just cooked a bunch. I actually prepped this last night. Several chicken breasts. I think I cooked like five or six chicken breasts last night. I just boiled them with some seasonings, popped them in here, and now I can take sweet potato out, I can take rice out, and I can take a chicken breast out, and that's a dinner right there, or a lunch, or whatever. Super easy. I had a lot more of these, but I've eaten a lot of them. We got shrimp, boom. I don't want to spill them. I had a big bag of frozen shrimp and I just recently got into it and started cooking those. And so yeah, I just have this amount left. This would go nicely with the rice and it would also go nicely with mixed greens, which I always, always have in the fridge. If I don't have these in the fridge, it means I haven't gone grocery shopping in a long time. I try my best to incorporate these in my meals however I can. With dinner, I'll almost always try to get some of these in and sometimes with lunch too. So, got this big daddy in there almost always. Another thing I have prepped, little baked chickpeas. So cute. I just dumped them onto a baking sheet and put some seasoning on them and baked them. These I've been snacking on all week, just like with my hands. I would also put them in salads. I always have some sort of fruit and veggies. So for veggies, I'll have veggies that I intend to cook and eat with a meal, and then I'll have other veggies that will go more on salads and stuff like that. I almost always get mushrooms. I just recently started buying the pre-sliced ones because I bought them by accident once. And it was just really convenient being able to just dump them right in. I just kind of dump them in my cooking whenever I can. And I also really like mushrooms cooked in red or white wine with garlic. I've got celery. Not gonna lie, I've been kind of neglecting the celery in my fridge. I bought it for chicken curry I made, but then I forgot to put it in there. So I've got a bunch of celery and sometimes I'll eat it with peanut butter, but I have to be in a certain mood to eat celery. So anyway, I have this emergency celery. Also got some broccoli. I have another florette, but I left it in the bag. I'm just showcasing this to you. Each week I'll buy like one, not cruciferous, but one kind of like green vegetable or like a really like powerhouse veggie, if that makes sense. A lot of the time that is broccoli just cause I really love broccoli. I've got some tomatoes. I've been incorporating these in my breakfasts recently. So I'll make and eggs on toast with avocado and tomato and turkey and that's really good sometimes i'll just straight up eat a tomato so depends but they're nice to have around i buy avocados almost every week i usually put them in salads or i'll eat them for breakfast on toast with eggs moving on to fruit i always need fruit in my fridge i love fruit and i just i eat it all the time one of my favorite fruits is grapefruit I've got a massive one and I got a little one. I ate one for breakfast today. There's kind of always a grapefruit in my fridge, at least one. 
Also, I almost always have oranges in my fridge. I'll take them to work because it's a really easy thing you can transport and then eat. And then these look just like the oranges I was just holding, but oh wait. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, that was confusing. These look like oranges, but they're actually lemons. I'm gonna put these down. We're just gonna show you this. I also always have lemon in my fridge because I like to put it on veggies a lot of the time. If I ever want lemon water, got this. In my veggie drawer, I always, always have grapefruit, oranges, and lemons. Continuing with the fruit, I often buy like, I don't know how to say, like a bonus fruit. A fruit that's not one of my staple fruits, but it's like fun. A lot of the time, if I have a sweet tooth, I'll eat fruit or Fruit kind of serves that purpose for me. This week I have a pomegranate. I love pomegranates. Another bonus fruit, I have Carnival Cotton Candy Grapes. These are so good. I couldn't resist when I saw these. I've only had these one other time in my life and I really love them. I have a watermelon. Almost always keep a melon on hand, um, which sounds weird, but with watermelon, I'll usually cut it in half and I'll just scoop out of there and eat it. With other melons that I buy a lot, like cantaloupe, I will slice that up and put it in a Tupperware so that I can eat little chunks of it whenever. So always have my melon. Continuing with more fruit, I usually don't have this many different types of fruit, but my coworker brought all these homegrown pears into work and I jacked a ton of them, but they're still a ton at work for people to take. I consider this a bonus fruit because I don't usually buy pears at the store. These are looking a little sad. I'll probably peel them and freeze them pretty soon for my smoothies. I eat this a lot with kefir too, so I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, I almost always have bananas. Here's my Tupperware where I keep my frozen bananas. I peel them, I break them in half, and I put them in here. Bananas. When I'm making a smoothie, I'll just take this out and I'll either take a half or a whole of a banana and use it for a smoothie. So this Tupperware is kind of full right now, but maybe I'll make a smoothie today and then put some of those bananas in here. Last thing in terms of fruit, I always have frozen berries. I'll put these in my oatmeal and I'll put them in my kefir. Oh, and also I wanna make pancakes soon, so I'll put berries in my pancakes. So I just mentioned frozen berries and bananas and then I eat them in my kefir, so this is Redwood Hill Farm cured goat milk kefir and it's just the plain flavor. I eat this because of the live cultures it has. I don't take any probiotics, but I eat this and I also eat some other probiotic foods. My brother and my mom turned me on to it. It took me a second to start to like the taste. At first, I thought it was really disgusting, but now I always have it in my fridge and I eat it every week with frozen berries and with a sliced up banana. Almost always have eggs because I eat them for breakfast all the time. Usually for breakfast, I'll just eat like two, maybe three. I also always have bread in my fridge. Here's the bread I like. I'll usually eat like two pieces of this a day, whether it's with peanut butter on it before a workout or whether it's eggs on toast. Those are kind of the only two ways I eat this, but I eat it almost every day. This is sort of a fringe item, something that I don't always buy, but I just saw it and I was like, Let's do that, why not? This is deli turkey, cracked pepper mill smoked turkey. It's really good, I've been putting it on my eggs on toast, but like I said, I don't always have deli meat. I rarely actually have deli meat in my fridge, but right now I do. Okay, we're getting more into like sauces and stuff. Right now I have mayonnaise. I use this when I make tuna salad. Speaking of tuna salad, here is some canned tuna. I only have one can left, but every once in a while, this really hits the spot. And sometimes I'll eat it on toast as well. Pace is medium salsa. This is like my favorite salsa. When I get into the groove of eating scrambles or breakfast burritos, I'll put this on there with Cholula. So love this. Continuing the conversation about probiotic foods, I have raw sauerkraut and I also have these pickles and I have miso. I get all these foods because I like them, but I do like that they are probiotic foods. The miso, I'll incorporate in sauces a lot of the time, kind of like an Asian-inspired sauce. 
So this has miso, coconut aminos, tamari, rice vinegar, and agave. Recently I've been eating this with my shrimp, rice, and greens. So I'll make like a bowl, mix together shrimp, rice, and greens, and I'll put the sauce on it and it's really good. I've also got a kombucha in my fridge. This is from when my mom came into town. She bought a bunch of kombuchas and then she didn't drink it, so I inherited it. I do like these, but I just don't really buy them that often. This is always in my fridge. This is bitchin' sauce. I featured this in my what I eat in a day video and I also featured these. I eat these together all the time. It's such a good combo. So this is the chipotle flavor of bitchin' sauce. And then these are the Simple Mills almond flour crackers, just the sea salt flavor. I always have these. These are staples. This is such a go-to snack for me. So to show you the rest of the freezer things, this is just a little bit of frozen corn. I went through a little kick with taco salad bowls. So that's what this is from. A backup loaf of bread in the freezer just so that when that one runs out, I already have another one. Right now I have tuna steaks in the freezer. This is the first time I've ever bought tuna steaks, but I really love them. <laughs> and I saw them at the store, so this is what I have in terms of meat in my freezer right now. A lot of the time I'll have ground beef, ground turkey, chicken, shrimp like I mentioned, but this is just what I have right now. So that wraps up everything that was inside of my fridge besides all these different sauces. Instead of grabbing them out and showing them all to you, I'm just gonna take the camera and show you those sauces and talk about them really quick. And then also I'll show you in the cupboard. So let's have a look. Okay, here we are. So in my fridge um, shelf, I've got tamari, kind of like soy sauce, ginger dressing, which is so good. I highly recommend it. I'll eat this with tuna or just make a salad with it. Delicatessen style mustard. I love good mustard. Coconut water, Frank's hot wing sauce. What I'll do is I'll make a little mixture. I'll make a sauce with this and ketchup and steak sauce and it sounds gross, but it's really good. I eat it with chicken and rice a lot. So yeah, that's what I do with this. And then here's my ketchup. It's an Italian dressing that I don't really use very often, but I just have it in case I don't feel like making a dressing. Coconut aminos. It's almost like sweet, a sweet version of soy sauce. And just a few other things. This is Body Bloom by Sarah's Day. It's a product with Tropica. Here's a little champagne that my company gave to me to celebrate something that is happening at my company. I have a white claw and then I have some minced ginger. The last thing, vanilla unsweetened almond milk. I don't use this very often, but sometimes I want to have cereal and so I'll eat this, or I'll, I'll eat the cereal with this. A lot of this stuff in these shelves is not mine, so everything I showed you is mine, but some of this is my roommate's. Okay, last thing, let's have a look in the cabinets and I'll show you what I have in there. Again, a lot of this stuff isn't mine, but I always have coke. oh no, I don't always have coconut milk. Um, I have coconut milk right now, I'll use this to make curry, and then I always have some sort of canned beans. So I've got pinto beans and black beans. Bone broth, so this is a powder that you can dissolve. So if I were to make soup or I use this in my curries again, I've got Popcorn. I love making popcorn. Here's agave, some taco seasoning from when I went through my phase with taco salad. Here's my rice vinegar that I use all the time in my Asian inspired sauce dressing. Here's some honey that my mom brought me from Colorado. I've got Cholula. Crazy Jane's mixed up salt is so good. I put it on my eggs all the time. My mom has used this since I was a little kid and I've always loved it, it's really good. Last thing in here, Creole seasoning. This is so good to put on potatoes. Slice them up, put this on there and then put it in the oven. That's so good. So that's what I use this for a lot of the time. And then up here I have, this is my favorite herbal tea. It's Citrus Sunrise. It's got lots of vitamin C. I drank this a ton when I was sick and it just tastes really good. Avocado oil spray for when I cook my eggs and things like that. Bottle of avocado oil for when I make popcorn. Grease mineral drops that I put in my water. I've got curry powder. These are just dark chocolate bars. Peanut butter, I always buy one that doesn't have added sugar to it, so this is one I like a lot. Steel cut oats, I'll cook these for breakfast a lot of the time. I'll just make a big Tupperware of them and then eat it throughout the week. I have pickles back here, but this is before I 
discovered my kind of like fresher pickles that I showed you earlier. And then I have this big bag of rice, which I prepped my Tupperware of rice from. So this will last me a while. I'll eat rice maybe like every third week or something, just whenever I feel like it, but I've got a big bag of it. I also have my protein powders. These are by Tropica. This is the lean protein in vanilla, chocolate, and salted caramel. This one's my favorite, and I like to mix these two sometimes, but I have a protein shake maybe like once every other day. These are by far my favorite proteins, and I definitely recommend them. They taste so good, especially this one. And that's everything in here, and I've got just a few more things up here. Garlic, onion, quinoa, I have instant coffee back there. These are more crackers. This is muesli, it's kind of like cereal. I'm almost out, so I'll probably buy this again. I eat this with my um, vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Granola that my mom left here, this is kind of sugary, so I don't really reach for it very often. And then I have those coffees that my mom left here, and I don't use them because I'm a plebe and I just drink instant coffee. There you have it. That is everything that I could possibly eat in my kitchen that is mine and not my roommate's. I hope that maybe this video shed some light on tactics that I do to make it easier to eat clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. I find the way that I eat to be really sustainable and I think that prepping food ahead of time, like cooking a bunch of rice or a bunch of whatever it is, just having a bunch of healthy food ready to eat so that you can just grab it and having foods that you really love are important. So for example, I always make sure I have a vegetable on hand and I make sure that it's a vegetable that I actually like. I don't love green beans as much as I love broccoli. So I don't buy green beans every week, I buy broccoli every week. And I will mix up my vegetables, that's just an example. I always keep fruit on hand to help me out with my sweet tooth. I always have quick snacks like my bitchin' sauce and crackers. I try to only keep healthy food in the house and I will have a treat every so often like I have dark chocolate up there or sometimes I'll have something crappier than that but I just don't have anything in the house at the moment. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video. If you saw anything that you're gonna prep, definitely invest in some good Tupperwares. I'll link the ones I have down below. I love them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay sweaty.